<laughs> All right, well, happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Welcome to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band here in Marfa, Texas. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia Nuevo Comienzo aquí en Marfa. Y los invitamos a que reciba lo que el Señor tenga para usted. So we need to prepare ourselves to receive what God has ready for us. Amen. Amen. Those of you that are listening by audio or watching by video, we welcome you and you prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Amen. He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and correct us. Amen. He wants to do that. Nos quiere bendecir, nos quiere animar, y nos quiere cambiar, y nos quiere corregir. Amen. You know what I tell the church all the time is, don't leave like you came. Right. Amen. Change. Yeah. Amen. I want to change. I want to be changed. Amen. From yeah. glory to glory. From day to day. I don't want to be the same. I want to be more like him. He says to be imitators of him, not yeah. the world. Woo. That world tries to jump on you so quick every day. Yeah. You know, yeah. constantly. But you know, we're to be imitators of yeah. him. So yeah. praise God. Amen. Amen. So get yourselves ready. Grab your swords and say it like you mean it, church. Here it is. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I'm boldly convinced. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I'm glad, I'm glad you're joining us. Church Alive is worth the drive. Church Alive is worth the viewing. Amen. Church Alive is worth the walking. <laughs> Church Alive is worth being there. For hallelujah. Amen. So many, so many want to change the word, but we let the word change us. Amen. Allow the word to change us. And we're going to be talking about this. Amen. Well, if you're writing right now, I want you to look at or write this down. We're going to be talking about the God of a second chance. Amen. Amen. The God of a second chance. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. And our God is a God of a second chance. Yeah. And to some of us, maybe three, four, <laughs> five. But you know why? He never gives up on us. Amen. Right. So praise God. Whatever it takes. Amen. Amen. Whatever it takes. The Bible says, when he lost us, he says, for God so loved the world, people, yeah. that he gave us another chance. He sent Jesus to win us back. Yeah. Amen? Amen. And he also tells us in 1 John 1, 9, and I'm getting way ahead of myself, if we confess our sins while we're lost, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all Amen. unrighteousness. Amen? Yeah. So praise God. He wants us back. Remember this, church, and you can write this down. Go to the second. Let me see what I've got here. John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, where he gave us his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. It's our choice. Amen. He's given us chance after chance after chance all the time. Go to the next. So here is uh, 1 John 1 9. If I, okay, you can put your name and cross that out and just say, if I, or say, confess my sins. He is faithful and just to forgive me of my sins Amen. and to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Amen. You don't have to go to no yes. man. You don't have to go to Lord. no one else except him yes, because is. he already knows. Amen. We can't hide it from him. He already knows what's going on. Yes. But you go and you confess it to him. And you know, when you was going the wrong way, you could do it on God's face. And you can do a U-turn and come back to him. Amen. Amen. So praise God. That's, that's, that's legal. <laughs> Remember this. You've never gone too far, those of you watching, those of you are listening, you've never gone too far that God cannot redeem you, restore you, forgive you, yeah. and give you a second chance. Amen. You know, <laughs> religion says this, religion says, do. God says, it's done. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. Amen. I got gospel bumps all over me. Uh, you say goosebumps, I got gospel bumps all over me. <laughs> but, You've never gone too far that God cannot redeem you, restore you, forgive you, or give you a second chance. And you yeah. know, religion says, you got to do this. The world says you have to do. People says, you know what? You didn't do this, so now God can't use you anymore. You're gone. You're done. You're finished. 
And you know, and you got to live with this the rest of your life and think about this, that I failed, that I failed. I didn't complete what God sent me to do. But you don't have to. That's not so. Because when you know what the truth says, what the Bible says, yes. you know that he's a God of a second chance. Yes. And if you go and you read what the scripture says, if you minutes ago, 1 John 1, 9, if I confess, yes, Lord, I did something wrong. I've sinned against you, but I'm repenting. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I'm doing a turnaround. I'm doing an about face. And I'm going to do a turnaround. And he's going to give me a second chance. God always offers a second chance in life. Yeah. A second chance doesn't mean anything if you haven't learned from your first mistake or your past mistakes. Amen. We got to learn from those. Amen. Yeah. And just like climbing the steps. We, are, we got to learn from that. Life offers you a second chance. And that chance is called mañana. Tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> So you know what? We want to give God, God give God your weakness, yeah. and he'll give you his strength. Lord, I need yeah. your strength on a daily basis. Lord, I know that the joy of the Lord is your strength. I need your yeah. strength. Yeah. I'm offering you myself. I'm offering you my weakness yeah. so that you can give me your strength. We've all made mistakes. I think I've made one or two, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and you think it's all over. And you want to do what? You want to throw in the towel. And you want to give up. And you want to quit. And guess what? You depend on what crowd you hang around with, but oh, some of them will say, yeah, you've done it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you better quit. Yeah, they'll side, you know what I'm saying, against you. Yeah, that's right. So you got to be careful who you hang around with because you're up to no good. And they want to keep you down, amen? Mm -hmm. We need to fly up with the king of hey. the burgers and that's yes. the fly with the eagle, you know, and that's yeah. crash with the chickens. John 16, 30, uh, 33 says this. These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In this world, you will have tribulations. He's telling us already. You're going to have, let me see, tribulations, misfortunes, mm -hmm. trials, sufferings, pains, problems, cares, whatever you want to call them. But he says, in the world, you will have tribulation. Right. Yeah. But, he says, but <laughs> be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Yeah. So you know what? When you repent and you confess and God gives you a second chance, you could be an overcomer. Amen. You could be a champion for him. You could be a winner. And you are. Amen. Once you know the truth, it's going to set you free. Uh -huh. It's going to set you back on the right road. Amen. You're going to do an about face. You're going to do a U-turn and go back to God. Amen. Yeah. I mean, God is going to send people and things distractions to try to get you to turn away from God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you know, when he gives you a second chance and you do that turn around and you do that, you turn back to him. Now, we got to stay strong in the word, confess the word, learn the word, because that's what's going to keep us in the right road. Yeah. Amen? Ooh, that's yeah. good. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Praise God. Uh -huh. Go to the next one. Oh, we haven't uh, read Job. Let's go to Job. Job uh, 33, 29. I was getting there. Job, job. Go to job. <laughs> job 33. Job. I've got it in different translations. Did you say 33 or 23? Uh, 33, 29. <clears throat> 33, 29. Uh, I've got it here somewhere. I wrote it. I wrote it. It says, and lo, all these things work with, work with God, oftentimes with man. Mm -hmm. Amen? So, listen, our God is a God of second chances. He's going to yeah. give us second chances. Amen? Yeah. So, we want you to know this. He wants you to know this. Amen? Praise God. Isaiah 33 and 18 says, don't remember the former things, 
nor consider the things of old. Amen. He wants to, he wants for us to change. Amen. Amen. Don't forget, don't let the things that have passed hold you back. Right. Amen. But press on, continue. The game of life isn't it isn't like a game in which you only have one chance to win and it's over. Uh -huh. So remember, believer, remember, Christian, you're not perfect. I make mistakes, I mess up, but God's grace is bigger than our mistakes. Amen. Amen. Go to the next. Let me see the next one. Oh, there you go. Our God is a God of second chances. Go to the next one. God or Jesus gives us a second chance. He never gives up on us. So don't give up on yourself. You know why? We need to go to our source every time. Every time we go to him. Every time Jesus needed strength, he went to the Father. When we need Father, when we need our Heavenly Father, we go to Jesus. Lord, I need you. I need you. He says because he's never going to give up on you. The world will give up on you. Friends will give up on you. Families will give up on you. But Jesus will never give up on you. He sent you on a mission. He sent you on a trip. And he wants you to succeed. Mm -hmm. Amen. But the world, families, friends are going to try to come against you and stop you and distract you and stop you from fulfilling what God has called you to do. Yeah. Life is not fair, but God is always faithful. Amen. 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 Life is not fair. And you're going to find that out. And you, you have found that out already. But God is always faithful. Praise the Lord. He's always faithful and a God of second chances and plus. It's not over until he says so. Right. Or until you win, but you don't quit. That's it. Use your God-given authority. Use your say-sos. We haven't talked about our say-sos, but your say-sos is the word of God. Faith-filled words. Right. When you speak faith-filled words, use your authority. Yes. Amen. Things are going to change. Things are going to happen. And guess what? Your greatest weapon that you have is the word. Your greatest weapon that you have is your mouth. Mm -hmm. Because you speak words with your mouth. Right. Yeah. Amen. So be careful with the words you speak. Amen. Amen. The world says it's over when the fat lady says. <laughs> Not so. <laughs> I may run away, but or run from her saying, but I ain't gonna give up. God will give you a second chance to some of us more. Yes. God allows you to do a U-turn. Confess, repent, and forgiveness. Go to the next one. Life always offers you a second chance. It's called tomorrow. Yes. Okay, get, keep going. Here we go. God's mercy is bigger than any of your mistakes. Amen. So just remember this. Whatever mistakes you've made and people, the world holding it against you, know that God's mercies are bigger Amen. than any mistakes you ever made. Amen? Right. Keep going. There we go. Yeah. God allows what? You turn. You turn. Amen. You may be going down the wrong road. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> and a lot of us find ourselves going that way. At one time, we were all going the wrong way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Amen. But guess what? He allows you turns. You know? Yes. You find out that you're not in the right company. Mm -hmm. You find out you've done something wrong. All right. Amen. So it's time to go to Father and say, you know. I want to admit what you already, you already know about this. Yes. But I want to confess all my sins. Yes. Amen. Confess it. Repent. And he forgives us. Amen. He forgives us. He allows us to make a U-turn. Isn't it awesome? You know that. Amen. He doesn't put those away. He sacrificed his son so that we could be able to do a U-turn. Amen. So when you know when you do a U-turn, he is there waiting for you. With open arms saying, welcome back, child of God. Welcome back, son. Welcome back, daughter. It's time to dust yourself off. Yes. Put you on maybe and put you back on the potter's wheel for a little bit and get you back the way you need to be and then proceed, you know, go and fulfill the mission I've called you to do. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> never give up on yourself That's good. because he never gives up on us. Amen. We got to know this because people in the world is going to tell you different. And if you hear something different, don't even meditate on it. If you know it's opposite of what the Word of God says, as it's opposite of what the Scripture says, then don't even entertain it. Release it. Let it go. Delete it. Amen. Amen. Don't even uh, argue, uh, don't even don't even don't even don't even listen to it. Amen. 
He never leaves us nor forsakes us. That's what the word of God says, Hebrews uh, 13, 5. He says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Always with you. Amen. So that's a good thing to know. So, you know, if you've been feeling lonely, maybe it's time to open up and just say, Lord, I know I'm not by myself. I know you're here. I just want to confess yeah. or, or just bring whatever problem you have, you know, and give it to him. Why are you still carrying these problems? Why are you still carrying all these fears? If I said, give it to me. Yeah. Amen. Give it to him and let him restore you. Amen. Amen. Let him take it all so that you can proceed with what, what he wants you to do. He never changes his mind about us or takes his gifts back. In Romans 11, 29, he says, for the gifts and cause of God are without repentance. Yes. Amen. The, uh, the commentary in the English version says, God doesn't take back the gifts he has given or for, forget about the people he has chosen. Right. He's chosen you and he'll never forget about you. That's right. Amen. But he's never going to take these things back. If you are not going to do anything with it, then one day you're going to stand before him and ask, mm. and, and, and he's going to ask you, why didn't you use yeah. what I gave you? Yeah. Amen. And you're never going to find out what he gave you if you never spent time with him uh -huh. and have a relationship with him. Yeah. You need to have a relationship with him and ask him, what is it you want me to do? Yeah. What am I to do? And he'll tell you, big or small, whatever it is I'm doing for him is big in his eyes. Yeah. 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 You know what? <laughs> See yourself as his favorite child. Yes. I see myself as his, as his, as his favorite. So you say, well, wait a minute. I'm his favorite. Well, that's good. I'm glad you think that way. <laughs> Praise God. Example of second chances. In Matthew, in Matthew 18, uh, uh, 21 and 22, talks about Peter came to Jesus and asked him, Lord, what? When someone um, won't stop doing wrong to me. How many times must I forgive them? Uh -huh. Seven times? I don't know why he brought that number up. The seven times? Jesus answered. Now, this is Jesus answering and says, I tell you, you must forgive them more than seven times. You must continue to forgive them even if they do wrong. It says, um, if they do you wrong, it says, Forgive him. It says 77 times. Oh, boy. 77 times. That's a large times, number. Meaning, times, yeah. there should be no limit in forgiveness. That's right. Well, times. how many times yeah. he's forgiven us? Uh -huh. Which one is it? 70 times 7. 70 times 7. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 70 yeah. times 7. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> that's a large number. We must forgive. Amen. Yeah. But look what they done to him. And they crucified him. And they put him to shame, and yet, when he was at the cross, before he surrendered himself, gave himself back to the Father, he says, yes. Father, forgive them. Yes. Yes. Amen. So who are we to hold anything and not forgive somebody? Amen. Amen. We need him, we need the love of God, and we need him to be able to say, you know, I forgive him. Yeah. Amen. Forgive and press on. Uh -huh. Amen. So praise God. The second chance... The story of a robber at the cross. Whatever he's done all his life, and he ended up being a robber. But still, God gave him a second chance. Because when he told Jesus, I recognize that you are the Son of God, and I receive you as my Lord and Savior, that's Jose. But he says, you know, today you will be with me in paradise. Yes, he Amen? Yes. Gave him a second chance. Praise God. <laughs> How about the story of Jonah and the great fish? Now, the Bible talks about, King James talked about a great fish. He didn't say a whale. <laughs> of course, many people say it was a great fish, it was a whale. But the Bible says a great fish. It says Jonah is told by God to go to Nineveh and preach the salvation to a horrible, horrible people group. Jonah disobeyed God. And he ended up in the belly of a fish, a great fish. Three days and three nights. So Jonah said, I think I changed my mind. <laughs> uh -huh. Jonah gets spit out on the shores of dry ground in the, in the shores of uh, Nineveh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he ends up preaching in these, to these wicked people who actually listen and turn their lives around. Mm -hmm. 
It is a great story of compassion for yes. such a wicked nation. Yes. Amen. In Jonah 3, chapter 3, verses 1 through 3, it says Jonah messed up, but then the Lord came back uh -huh. and spoke to Jonah again and says, go to Nineveh, go to the big city of Nineveh and say what I tell you. You know, a lot of us are afraid to step out because we don't know what we're going to say. Right. Jesus, I mean, God told uh, Jonah, he says, and say what I tell you. Yeah. You know, we need to know that the greater one is in us. And when we get the word in us, when we get the truth in us, when we speak out of our, out of our innermost being shall flow the rivers of living water. The, the word of God is going to flow out through you. And some of us that say, wow. I can't believe, how many of you ever said, I can't believe that came out of me? Mm. You know, it says, wow, wow. It's just like you're stepping out, you step out of your body and you're watching yourself. He you said, I can't believe that's me talking. Mm. Well, God is anointed to yeah. speak, amen? Yeah. And you're releasing the word of God, praise God. He told him, I'll tell you what to say. Mm -hmm. So Jonah obeyed the Lord and went to Nineveh. Mm -hmm. It was a great, a very large, or a large city. So the word of God, the word of the Lord came to uh, Jonah the second time. It was the same word. God made sure Jonah knew it was a second chance and a fresh start. <laughs> Amen. He knew. And you know, he wasn't mad at him. No. <laughs> he just told him the second time. Go yeah. to Nineveh. Yeah. And this, I'll tell you what to say. Because God wanted to reassure Jonah of his forgiveness and that he wanted a clean slate between them. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So that's what he wants from us. He wants he wants us to be free. Amen. He wants us to free, be free and not have these things have us. Amen. Yeah. I want to be free from all these things that tries to come against you. Amen. So he gave him a second chance, a fresh, fresh start. And he's given a lot of us fresh starts. Amen. There we go. I want, uh, that's where I want to be. <laughs> Jonah 117. Now the Lord, in Jonah 117, he says, the Lord had prepared, uh -huh. and King James says, he prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah. Uh -huh. <laughs> God already knew, I want to prepare a fish, and he's coming, and he's going to swallow you up. Right. <laughs> and Jonah was in the belly of, of the fish three days and three nights. Uh -huh. Check this out. That's familiar. King James, yes. King James talks about preparing a great fish. Mm -hmm. The Amplified says he appointed, mm -hmm. he destined, and he provided a great fish. Mm -hmm. You don't know if there was any great fish. Maybe this is the first one he ever created. <laughs> just especially for Jonah to swallow Jonah up. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. So, <laughs> the CEB talks about he sent a fish. The uh, EVR or the easy to read version says he chose a fish. Uh -huh. And the uh, Good News translation says he commanded a fish. All right. And the New Living Translation, uh, the, the New Living Bible talks about he arranged. Mm. But the King James says he prepared a great fish yes, to go and swallow him up. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Now what you read, what I read here, that Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. Jesus cited Jonah's experience as a sign of his resurrection. Mm. Mm -hmm. This was his resurrection. He spent three days and three nights right. in the earth. Yes. Amen. Amen. He was citing his resurrection. Mm. And that talks about in the uh, in Matthew from, from Jonah 117 goes to refers to Matthew 1240. And you can write this down. Matthew 1240 says, For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the great fish. So will the Son of Man be three days and three nights mm. in the heart yeah. of the earth. Yes. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, so Jonah gave, God gave Jonah a second chance. God will do the same for you and me. And you know what? When you talk to somebody that's in trouble, somebody that needs a second chance, tell them about your God. Yes. What a mighty God you serve. Yes. What a mighty yes. God you have. Yes. You know? yes. But you know what? You're the greatest thing. You're the closest thing to a Bible some people see. Mm -hmm. And when they see Jesus in you, they'll come to you and they'll say, you know, how come you're trouble-free? How come I never see 
any cares on you, any problems on you. What do you do? How do you do all this? And then when they open the door, you come in and you say, you know, because my God is bigger than any problems. Yes. Right. My God cares for me, and I can cast all my cares on him. And you can do the same thing. And you can have a carefree power, uh, world. You know, all you have to do is cast them on him. Yes. Amen? Yes. Well, praise God. I have another little story that I want to share with you. We talked about this before. This is about Jonah and the, and the whale, or the big fish, the great fish. This is about a little Christian girl, just come from uh, Bible school, or Bible study. <laughs> and he was talking about her unsaved teacher about the whale, and about Jonah and the whale. And she tells him how the whale swallowed Jonah for disobeying God. The teacher says, you know, he's a teacher. He says, physically, it is impossible, even though a whale is a large Ma uh, mammal, he says, the throat is not big enough to swallow a man. <laughs> the little girl stated, Jonah was swallowed by the wheel because the Bible says so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the teacher repeated, a wheel could not swallow a human. It's impossible. Mm -hmm. The little girl says, you know, when I get to heaven, I'm going to ask Jonah. The teacher says, what if Jonah goes to hell? The little girl says, then you ask him. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> <Well, laughs> All right. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. <clears throat> Second chances. Go to the next one. God's mercy has called me to the place of new beginnings. Amen. For he is the God of second chances. Mm -hmm. Amen. And this is the word that he wants us to bring, you know, a, a, a message of love, a message of uh, compassion, mm -hmm. a, love, a, a message of second chances for people that thought they done for life. Oh. Well, you can tell, you know what, then God can give you a new, a new chance. Yes. God can give you a second chance. Yes. Yes. Amen. But you got to invite him. You got to confess, repent, and he'll forgive you. And he'll give you a second chance. Keep going. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Uh, there you go. We've talked about this before also. Butterflies are God's proof that we can have a second chance in life. Amen. You see the caterpillar, the cocoon, cocoon, is that right? Mm -hmm. And it dies, but then again, it gets a second chance, and it comes out even more beautiful than before. Amen. Amen. Awesome. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing, butterfly. Keep going. Okay, just leave it right there. John 8, 1 through 11. And we're going to, I'm just going to read through this. So, so Jesus went to the Mount of Olives early in the morning. He went back to the temple earlier. People came to him and he sat and he taught. The teacher of the law and the Pharisees brought a woman they caught in bed with a man who was not her husband. They forced her to stand in front of the people. Now he brought the woman, but he didn't say nothing about the man. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't say nothing about the man or the wife. <laughs> they said to Jesus, Teacher, this woman was caught in the act of adultery. The law of Moses commands us to stone to death any such woman. What do you say we should do? They were trying to trick him, okay? They were trying to trick Jesus. <laughs> That's verse 6. They caught, they wanted to catch him saying something wrong so they could have a charge against him. But Jesus stooped down and he started writing something on the ground. You ever think about what he wrote? <laughs> Verse 7 says, Torah. <laughs> the Jewish leader continued to ask him their questions. So he stooped down and said, anyone here who has never sinned should throw the first stone at her. And Jesus stooped down again and wrote on the ground again. And verse 9, when they heard this, they began to leave one by one, the older men first, then the others. <laughs> Jesus left alone with the woman standing there in front of him. He looked up again and said to her, where did they all go? Did no one judge you guilty? She says, no one, sir. And Jesus said, I don't judge you either. He says, you can go now 
but don't sin again. Right. Amen. So I don't know what he wrote, but it says the elderly or the older ones left first, and then the rest of them left. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there was quite a few there. But they have already, they had already convicted her. They was oh, yeah. they had already found her guilty, yeah. and they were going to stone her. Mm -hmm. But say, let's see what Jesus says. Mm -hmm. So they brought her to Jesus to see what he was going to say, mm -hmm. so they could trick him, so that he could, uh, if, you know, uh, say something wrong to bring, bring a charge against him. Mm -hmm. We've all been in a situation in which you wanted, <laughs> you wanted things to work out but didn't. And you felt like, if I could just have a second chance. Mm -hmm. I know. We've all had that. When we look back over our lives at some of the situations that we've been involved in, some of the choices we've made, we think, if we could only have a second chance. Mm -hmm. Amen. A lot of people find themselves there. A lot of people in prison. A lot of people that are not in prison, that are in bondage, mm -hmm. just thinking, if I could just have another chance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's where we come around. Yeah. When we go out into the world and you come around somebody that needs a word yeah. and you come and you have that word for them, God can set you free. God can yeah. give you a second chance. Amen. Yeah. God can give you a second chance. If I only had another chance, I wouldn't have gotten into what? Drugs, drinking, smoking, gangs, violence, runaways, rebellion different for all of us. Amen? Mm -hmm. Even if you're the best of the best, without Jesus, you're still not good enough. That's right. You need to That's repent, right. confess, confess him, repent, and he'll forgive you. Mm -hmm. Amen? Sometimes, when we make sex in life, it feels so final. When you make serious mistakes, you might think it's all over. Amen? But it's not. God will give you a second chance. The Bible tells us that the God I serve is the God of mercy. Yes. Amen? The God yes. of mercy. Mercy means to extend help to the lowliest or most undeserving. Mm -hmm. It involves compassion that overshadows punishment mm -hmm. even when justice demands it. Mm -hmm. You see, justice demands that each and everyone here should have been dead. But mercy steps in and says, yes. not so. Yes. Amen. Yes. Not so. <laughs> Hallelujah. We use the word mercy in our prayers, our songs. Just as the man that you and I should have died, but mercy steps in and says, not so. Mm -hmm. God's mercy is so great yes. that it is almost indescribable. Mm -hmm. Mercy, mm -hmm. God's mercy knows no limits. Amen. There's none of us who is beyond his saving power. That's right. His mercy reaches to the lowliest, excuse me, his mercy reaches to the highest mountain and uh -huh. flows to the lowest valley. And we sing this song. He is God on the mountain and he is God in the valley. Yes. God is a God of love, mercy, and compassion. Mm -hmm. And his mercies are new every, every morning. Every Amen. Morning. So, Glass is time. Oh. <laughs> Before you go out into the world, put your glasses of love, mm -hmm. compassion, and mercy. Amen? Mm -hmm. So when yeah. you see out there, when you go out there, you see mm -hmm. what God sees. God is seeing them through your eyes. Yes. Amen? Mm -hmm. He is with you. Yes. So what are you going to share with them? God's love, mm -hmm. God's compassion, God's mercy. <laughs> Amen? <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, Praise God. Amen. Lamentations 3, 22 and 23 talks about, it says, it is of, Lord's, of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed because yes. of his compassion fails not. In verse 23, there are new every morning. Amen. Great is thy faithfulness. Amen. Amen. In order for us to walk day by day in fellowship with the Lord, we must confess, repent, Repent and forgive. Amen. Yes. Do a U-turn and follow him. Follow after him. Hallelujah. Yeah. And praise God. So stop going the wrong way. Yes. Stop dragging your feet. Mm -hmm. And stop trying to hide or cover 
your sin. He already knows. So get back in fellowship with him. Amen. Amen. Get back in fellowship with him. Yes. And no matter who's told you what or what you've heard, God will forgive you. Amen. Yes, but you have to drag, confess it. Amen. <laughs> Today's, let today be the new day that we are to rejoice and be glad. And yet many people lives remain still stuck in the yes. past. Yes. Amen. They're stuck. We need, we need to uh, let them know about our God. Amen. Yeah. So, hallelujah. I think I'm going to stop there. we got so much I more know. to go. And we got so much. Uh, we'll, do, we'll just go into a part two. Yeah. St. Corinthians 5, 17. You all know this. Mm. But it says, therefore, if anyone is in yeah. Christ, he is a new creation. A new Old things have passed away. Yeah. And behold, all things have become oh, new. Yeah. Amen. You just had a spiritual birth. Yes. Amen. And the people see the same you physically. Yeah. But on the inside, you had a spiritual birth. Amen. Amen. And they can't see that with their natural eyes. Right. But you're a new creature in Christ. Amen. Old things are past. And you need to know that by the word of God. Uh -huh. That he's cleaned you. Amen. He's cleaned you. All that is gone. He's given you a new chance. He's given you a second chance. He alone can give you a new start in life. A new beginning. He alone can give you this second chance, yes. this fresh start. Yes. So you got to fall in love with him, mm. have a relationship with him, Amen. because he's going to carry you the rest of the way. Yes. Because those that are going to come against you and remind you of all the wrongs you've done, oh boy. and try to keep you and say, <laughs> "We know you. You know what you. We know who you are. We know all these things about you." And you let them know, mm -hmm. I'm a new creature in Christ. I'm a new yeah. person in Christ. Yes. And they're going to try to pull you back, drag you back, and distract you again to pull you back into the crowd. Mm -hmm. And you say, no, I've changed partners. Yes, amen. I've amen. changed, I, 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 I've made a new turn. Mm -hmm. I did an about face. I'm going a different direction now. Mm -hmm. They're still going to be in the world doing the same old things. And you're going to be doing something new. Mm -hmm. I'm living for him now. I'm being an imitator of my Christ, of my God. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Hallelujah. You, we can change the outward appearance. Now listen to this. We can change our outward appearance. He says you can take a person and change the outward man. Mm -hmm. Hairstyles, clothes, makeovers, new attitudes, new friends. <laughs> That's fine. It says, but only Jesus yes. can make you can make all things new and change both the outward and the in inward Amen. and give you a second chance. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. New creature in Christ, born again. Praise God. Amen. Amen. So praise yeah. God. Whatever you've done, no matter what you've done, He remember we hate, we hate, He is a God of love, yes. compassion, Amen. 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 and mercy. Yes. So He can forgive you and forget it and press on with Him. Amen. Amen. He yeah. puts you on a mission, and he don't want you to quit that mission. He wants you to fulfill your mission. Yes. Whatever he's called you to do, he uh, called you. Yes. He appointed you. Yes. He's equipped you. He's approved you. So it doesn't matter what the world says, what man says. That's right. God wants to see you all the way. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Thank you. Just stop right there. Thank you, Lord. That was good, Pastor. That was good. Thank you. Praise God.